for innovation. Today I got this Adreno kit. I'm super excited to learn. But the obvious question is... The obvious question is, what's in the kit and what is it capable of doing? I'm not sure. Let's go see. Okay, this is our ultrasonic slash proximity sensor, so it senses how far away things are. It's kind of like eyes. This is a sound sensor, so it senses when how loud the noise is. This is a humi humidity sensor that also senses temperature and humidity. So if it um, got like so hot outside, then you could have your Adreno do something like fill up a glass of water for you, which, was, which would be pretty cool. This is a water level detection sensor. So it shows like how high your water is on, so if you put this in like a glass of water and your water was getting low, again a water example, your, it sensed that your water was getting low, then it could like refill your water or something crazy. These are buzzers, so they just make little noises. This is your resistors. This code, I'll put a picture of that in a second. Okay, now next we have all of our wires. These are just pretty much, you plug them into your board, your Adreno board right here, and you plug them into your breadboard. Same with these ones. Okay, next off we have our motors. So, we have a fan blade that can attach to all of these, a um, smaller, like, just different types of motors. Then over here you can attach, on this motor you can attach different um, types of things that can help you make it spin and stuff. This controls, so if you had a light and you wanted to make it um, brighter or dimmer, you would turn this and it shows like, if I were to attach this to an LED, if I turned it, it would get lighter and then dimmer, which is pretty cool. Then we have our, this is a board that controls your motors in like kind of extra depth. This is just kind of an expansion piece, so it can expand your um, breadboard. This is your basic Arduino board with Arduino Uno. Then we have this piece, which is actually really important. What it does is it can control things that are more than five volts because Adreno just runs things that are five volts. So what this does is it can allow you to run something that's like more volts than that. So. Then we have some transistors, we have our breadboard, we have our power supplies. A battery can attach to your Adreno board like here, or you can attach from your computer right there. So then we have um, continued on with power supply. This is also another thing, separate piece for power supply, which again, this can plug in a USB port and this can plug in for your battery. It has an on switch and an off switch and an LED indicating. So then next we have our, our things that show us some, like this is just a simple monitor kind of screen. We have our number sensor, well not sensors, um, we have our numbers and it shows that, like it could show numbers and stuff. Then we have a bigger one of those, just four of them pretty much combined. This is our remote control. It sends it um, a signal over to our receptor, which catches the signal and can tell our board what to do. So if we were making a car, we could control the car and it would send a signal to there. We have a joystick so we could control a car. And we have an assortment of LEDs. And that covers about everything basic in the Adreno. Those are the basic components of the Adreno Super Learning Kit. For our other videos, we're going to explain how you use it and how to program it. Program? Then that reminds me of a joke. Oh, no. How many programmers does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know. None. It's a hardware problem. I don't get it. Whatever. Subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. Bye!